Hi, my name is Ed Hammerly from NJ Renewable Energy. Uh, you're looking at what would appear to be an average American home. Um, it's actually my home, but it isn't so average. Uh, this is a net zero house. And if you're not familiar with what net zero is, this house uses as much energy as it makes. So essentially I have no utility bills. Uh, that also includes my car right here, which is an electric vehicle. Uh, so com I am completely uh, self-sufficient. Our family here is self-sufficient and we're really not subjected to uh, changes in oil prices as far as gasoline and so forth. So I'm going to go around the house and show you how I got there. Uh, but there's one thing I want you to keep in mind. There's so many people who suggest that doing this, well yes, he has a house that doesn't use any energy, and, but he spent all this money to get there so you know maybe it's a wash. But the fact of the matter is, is that you're spending this money uh, whether you want to or not. Do you want to give the money to a solar manufacturer or a geothermal manufacturer or do you want to give it to your utility company for the end of time? So these are investments and the investments that I've made have uh, return on investments of over 10 to 15 percent. So it, it makes financial sense, it makes environmental sense and it's the way we should be doing things. So come take a look and I'll show you how I got there. And let's just address this point about investment one more time. All the systems and products I'm going to show you have a 100% return on investment from about two to eight years. So again, do we want to pay the bank in the short term or do we want to pay the utility for the life of the home? All right, so I'm going to glance over a bunch of different concepts, ideas, systems, and so forth. If there's anything that interests you, go back through my previous YouTube videos. I cover everything in great detail. Before we get into the high-tech renewable energy systems, we're first going to attack the small stuff, the easy things. Energy efficient appliances, changing over to energy efficient light bulbs, insulating the house. Here in New Jersey and other states across the United States, you can contact them and have them do an energy audit for you, determining all your home's strengths and weaknesses. Alright, so here's what I did. This is solar thermal evacuated tubes. This system does about 80% of our hot water all by itself. This runs in conjunction with a tankless electric hot water system. Geothermal, we use a ground source heat pump to heat and cool our home. Solar PV, photovoltaics, we use this 13 kW system to produce all the electricity that our entire house uses in a year, and that includes the car. During the course of the year, we use this net meter. When we produce more electricity than we are using, we send it down the road. When we need the power at night or maybe during the winter, the utility gives us a credit. Now we make as much power as we use, hence the term net zero. And we've converted just about everything to run on electricity. Leaf blowers, weed whackers, hedge trimmers, power washers, everything. No oil, no gas no loud noises, they're cheaper, and when we run them, it doesn't cost us anything. Oh yeah, and the best part, they always start. Now before we go any further, I must concede we do have a little bit of fossil fuels left in the home. Our barbecue grill and our cooktop in our kitchen still use natural gas. Now we still may convert them to electrical devices, but at this point, we have them. But here's a graph you'll find amusing. This is our yearly usage for gas. You'll notice in almost every month, the bar graph line is almost unrecognizable. So we're not perfect, but damn, we're pretty darn close. On a side note to this video, we also built an addition to our home this year. We added about 650 square feet, and we did it to passive house standards. This is a type of structure that uses one-tenth the energy of a regular home. If you're building a new home or addition, please check out my video on Passive House. You'll find it very helpful. So here is our June utility bill, where most people's electric costs are through the roof. For gas, we paid $8.94, and for electricity, we paid zero. However, we did pay a $4.15 maintenance delivery fee. This is essentially a fee so the utility can maintain the lines. So there you have it. And this is a home that should make just about anyone happy. 
If you're an environmentalist, it's a sustainable, clean air, clean water, climate change preventing home. If you're a businessman, it's a good sound investment with nice returns. Plus, do you think energy is going to get cheaper over time? How about if you're a conservative who wants to be self-reliant and not dependent upon foreign oil? Well, we can run our homes, our cars, and our businesses on US-made electricity. Want to learn more about sustainability, renewable energy, or anything else in between? Contact me at njrenewableenergy.com.